Well, continues to build for the new Detroit City Council President Pro Tem, George Cushenberry. The man who was with him last week on a police stop is more than just a friend. Plus, we're learning more about the police internal affairs investigation that has a supervisor under fire. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kurtzner is here now with the latest. Jim? Yeah, you know the councilman. He's been all over the news. We've also shown you his friend who had weed in the car when they were stopped by police last week. Tonight, the other green connection between the two. Where's it going wrong? The man got elected on TV. I wasn't doing anything wrong. They've had each other's back since the two were stopped last week by Detroit police and let go with only a ticket for an improper term. We now have obtained documents from City Hall that shows Clement works in Cushenberry's council office as a contract employee, 14 hours a week, 2,000 a month, 12,000 for the one-year contract. We could not reach Cushenberry today at his house or by phone. Please leave a message. When cops stopped them, they found an open, empty liquor bottle and smelled marijuana. Today, the chief says there was other immediate trouble. There was some continued movement of the car after stopping. Uh, and at one point during uh, the detention, an officer had to remove the key from the ignition. Where the hell is he going to drive up and down the street? Come on. But there was an effort on the part of the driver, the council person, uh, to continue and make forward movement away from the officers. Standard protocol was followed. The officers called in a supervisor, a sergeant, who took over the scene. The chief is following an ongoing internal affairs investigation into only the sergeant's conduct, the open intox, and the marijuana in the passenger compartment of the car. Clement carries a medical marijuana card. The chief says, so what? Evidence that was not properly recovered uh, that should have happened, I will tell you that. One joint, one joint, he looked at it, and I thought they took it. But I looked at hey, he gave it back. We enforced the law impartially, ethically, uh, no favoritism. Now, the chief says that investigation will be done next week and the results made public. City Inspector General is also looking at Cushing Mary's conduct in all of this. His report will go to several people, the mayor, the city council, and the emergency manager who could cut Cushenberry's pay and strip him of his power as an elected official, but he can't remove him from office. Remember, we saw that happen yeah. last year with then Council President Charles Pugh. Well, what could happen to the police sergeant? He could likely face some administrative discipline. Sources say that could be a suspension or worse if, and this is a big if, if there's a reason why he gave Cushenberry a pass. Maybe they know each other. More next week. We'll have to see. All right. Great work. Fortunately, many people will look at this and say, B goes on, right? Indeed. Still